Aboard the International Space Station, the crew has been informed by Mission Control here in Houston uh, that everything is go for launch three and a half minutes from now. The new uh, crew members to arrive at the station just a few hours from now will be uh, standing by for the arrival of the Soyuz with an expected docking at 11.39 a.m. Central Time, 12.39 p.m. Eastern Time. T minus two minutes, 45 seconds. The booster's fuel tanks are now being pressurized for flight. This will optimize the flow of fuel helping to add structural support for the Soyuz 2.1A booster. Oxidizer and fuel drain confirmed. Copy your report to Department 1. A booster propellant tank pressurization is initiated. Confirmed. Coming up on the T-minus two minute mark. T minus two minutes and counting. We have accepted the report, Department One. A few seconds from now, the ground propellant feed will be terminated and the Soyuz will go on internal power. T minus 90 seconds. Coming up on one minute. The first of those two umbilicals that you see on the side of the Soyuz will retract at about the T minus 30 second mark. And that first umbilical now retracting. The second will retract at about the T minus 15 second mark, initiating engine sequence start. Confirmed. Department 1 has received the report. T minus 20 seconds. Auto sequence initiated. Auto sequence initiated. Command has been issued. Attention. Attention on the launch. Automatic abort of launch has gone through. Prepare to stand down for 24 hours. Copy. Department 30, copy. Department 10 is copy. And the launch has been aborted. Department no launch. The countdown uh, made it to the final 20 seconds, and then the command was issued to abort the launch. We do not know the reason for that at this point. Standing by for further word, the vehicle is in a safe configuration. The Soyuz launch to the space station has been aborted. Depending on the nature of the abort, uh, the next opportunity would not be until Saturday.
for a launch for the Soyuz, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Once again, the countdown was proceeding flawlessly until about the T-minus 20-second mark. And for reasons yet to be determined, the automatic uh, abort wa was issued to stop the countdown. Soyuz had a 10-second window in which to get off the pad, so there will be no launch of Dyson, Novitsky, and Vasilevskaya today. With the Soyuz launch having been aborted, we'll be standing by also for further word on what impact, if any, this might have on the uh, Falcon 9 launch of the commercial resupply mission later today of the SpaceX Dragon. To recap, uh, the launch of Dyson, Novitsky, and Vasilevskaya on Soyuz MS-25 has been aborted. The abort command, which is an automatic command, uh, was issued at about the T-minus 20-second mark. Everything in the countdown had proceeded normally. The crew is perfectly safe atop the Soyuz. The uh, fueling and replenish uh, process has been uh, terminated for the day while engineers in Baikonur will assess uh, a potential reason for today's abort and a forward path. Fifth to the fiftieth, ready to activate system. Go ahead for station. Hey Matt, you've got Costa here. We want to give you guys a status. Um, our Soyuz launch was commanded aborted about T minus twenty seconds. Uh, crew safe, everyone safe on the pad. We're standing by for more info, and we'll get you what we have when we have it. So as you guys know, that means it's going to be a few days before you guys see some visitors up there. Copies reported. Most importantly, station copies. Crew are safe. This is Mission Control Houston. To recap, today's launch of Soyuz MS-25 was aborted at about the T-minus 20-second mark. 
the retraction of the second umbilical buttressed up along the side of the Soyuz 2.1A booster occurred, but there was no initiation of the engine sequence start that is typically expected at that point, and the automatic command to abort the countdown was issued, stopping today's launch. There are engineers already at the launch pad.